Hey everybody, The Zombies Project here, and this is probably me just making a video to make a video, but I have seen a lot of people complaining about Call of Duty. If you want to complain about Call of Duty, don't watch the videos. Don't complain on other people's videos that support the game. And this is pretty much my Call of Duty rant. For starters, I put eight NPCs on here, whatever you want to call them, bots, and I always get three, no matter how many I put on. Treyarch, fix that, please, for one. But, if somebody wants to buy COD points, you want to know what you do? You can let them buy COD points. If somebody wants to buy Infinite Warfare, you know what to do? You let them buy Infinite Warfare. If somebody like me doesn't like Modern Warfare, you can respect that I don't like Modern Warfare. If it is a digital code with my pre-order of Infinite Warfare, I'm probably going to sell it or give it away to a friend. I really don't like in Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2 was alright. Don't like Modern Warfare. That's an opinion. Um, Every video I go on, I was watching one of the phases. I don't know their names. He's Canadian. That doesn't really sum it up, but he is Canadian. And he spent a bunch of money on COD points. And somebody's like, don't support this crappy company and everything. It's like, they're a really good company. And I don't think under people understand why they're in there. Why COD points are in the game. COD points are microtransactions put in there by Activision. Because Activision is a very big company. And if it wasn't for Activision, we wouldn't have any Call of Duty. Because they... They, they give the other companies money. They help them make the money to do it. And how are they going to make their money back? DLC and microtransactions. I, I spin COD points. I do. I buy them. And I don't think that I should be ridiculed for buying them. I don't think anybody should complain if somebody wants to buy them. I want to buy them. I want to support it. I want my next Call of Duty to be cool. It is Sledgehammer, so I don't have very high hopes. But, you know, maybe they'll do something cool. Because Advanced Warfare, I like Advanced Warfare. Not my favorite, but I like it. Um, this is live, so I'm doing it while I'm playing. That's why I have weird pausing moments. And that's why I'm using a sniper, because it's the only class that I had. Special, like, setup and everything. But, what about Infinite Warfare? There's so many complaints about it, so many dislikes and everything on that. And it's ridiculous. Nobody should be making more than one account to dislike it. If you don't like it, too bad. The game's been in progress for three years. They didn't know that you guys didn't like that. They didn't know they didn't like the thrusters or the advanced movements. I personally like them. What's not cool about being able to do this? Black Ops 1 is retarded. I hate Black Ops 1 with a passion. The story was okay. The multiplayer was just cramped and... I, I don't know how to explain it. It's bad. I don't like it. I play it, yeah. I appreciate the game. I don't like it comparing to this. Now, when this didn't exist, yeah, I liked Black Ops 1, but then I saw Black Ops 2, and then I saw Black Ops 3, and I was like, it's not a very good game. And I understand the game is old, but so is World of War. World of War is a great game. Um, just, this game was in progress, like, right after Black Ops 2 came out, Black Ops 3 was starting to be made. Because everybody was like, change it, change it, this is stupid. I want to start being able to do stuff that's not the same thing every year. Well, they did that. And you guys complained again. And it's not even... It's not even the freaking pro players that play this game for a living. It is everyday people, like fans of Call of Duty. And they just said, change it. They changed it, you guys don't like it, you can't adapt to it, I'm sorry. I can't adapt to the new snipers because it doesn't actually zoom in. I think that's something that should be changed, but, you know, oh well. As you can tell, I, I struggle with a sniper rifle. I can use this, though. But, my, my hopes for Infinite Warfare. I've seen some stuff, read some stuff from Infinity Ward and everything, and it's going to be the biggest arsenal of weapons in a Call of Duty game ever. I don't know if they mean that like Advanced Warfare style where there was like a bunch of variants, but there's supposed to be more weapons in that game than any other Call of Duty. Um, 
If you think about that, that's really cool because there's a lot of games that have a lot of weapons. This game right here, Black Ops 3, has quite a few weapons. You do eventually get tired of using all of them. You find your favorite weapon, you continue using it for a while. I have a few weapons that I will use, like the Cuda, the Weevil, a few DLC weapons. But that there's um, an assault rifle in it that can be collapsed into a submachine gun on the go and it changes its stats and everything in the middle of the game and if that's not the coolest thing you've ever heard what is who shot him okay I was confused but that that's like perfect for bigger maps you know a close situation just boom you can turn it into a uh, some machine gun if you're like walking through here and there's people on the other side right there and you can turn it into a submachine gun my banshee had nothing to do with it but I, I guess it works and I have this on 150 kills because you're gonna complain about somebody who makes money off of YouTube somebody who loves this game I'd say I don't remember his name like phase something he's Canadian he's wearing a hat he wanted the DSR that's all I know. And people were commenting, don't waste your money on this game. It's supporting the next one. You want them to have more money for the next one? I think I do. Because they don't always get three years to make the game. It's not always going to end up being like this. It's going to just get thrown out there and it's going to look like Modern Warfare 3. Or it's just going to get thrown out there and you guys are going to get an Advanced Warfare. Is that really what you want? You want another Advanced Warfare by not supporting the company? If you don't support the company that just supports the companies that make the game, then they're not going to be able to fund them anymore. And I think people are going to kill Call of Duty by doing these black market blackouts and stuff. Now, I was part of it before I found out why COD points were in the game. Why all these things, why we had to buy so much stuff in the game which I do buy, I will buy them. I don't make money off of YouTube. Even if I did, it'd be like $6 a month. I don't make money off of it. I don't have a PayPal connected. YouTube doesn't pay for it. My passion for this game, my passion for the company, my passion for gaming in general pays for it. I go out, work, and then I pay for it. And if that's not supporting the company, then I don't know what it is. I'm not disliking their Infinite Warfare trailer. Everybody, like, some people don't even play games. It's, it was just a Tumblr trend for a very long time. People going on there making multiple accounts just so they can dislike it. That's kind of stupid, for one. And you want to know what you guys were doing? You were getting more views on that video. You were adding more watch time. You made Call of Duty money by doing that. That dislikes me nothing. It's just a rating system. It's not anything to be about. You might have messed up their call it or their YouTube rating, like what to expect from their videos, but you did nothing to the game. You did nothing to Call of Duty. You did nothing to Activision or Infinity Ward. Nothing was affected by all those dislikes. You may have gotten your point across, oh I don't want this game, well too bad, it's happening. They scrapped the entire Black Ops 3 movement system out of the game. It was supposed to be similar to like thrusters, no exosuits, wall running, etc. And they scrapped it out of multiplayer. They took it out and put in a grappling hook. That's retarded. I like being able to do this, and now I'm gonna have to Widowmaker around the map like I'm playing Overwatch. I want to be able to wall run. I want to be able to get onto the back porch on Nuketown without having to run up the stairs and get stuck on three things. The hip fire on this thing is bad. <laughs> I, I'll probably end up doing another rant later, but I, I just want to see how this one does. I had to vent about something because it made me mad. He has a almost a three million subscribers, and he makes money off of YouTube. I bet he made his money back from that. He spent like a hundred and eighty dollars on COD points just to get a sniper rifle. He wants to play the game. See, look at that. I've warmed up, but. He wants to pay. He wants to play the game. He wants to support them. If he wants to pay it, don't judge him. If you don't want to see somebody pay for COD points, don't watch the video. I pay for COD points. 
I do. Because I'm not all about earning one crypto key every, like, thing a gun game. And I know my voice cracked, and I know if somebody that knows me is going to comment, but like, hey, faggot. But other than that, I'll just, I'll probably see you guys in another rant, because I, I feel like I've vented myself out completely. I feel like I'm not going to complain whenever one of my PlayStation friends complains about COD points or anything in that state. So, I'll see everybody in this, and if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it. And add suggestions down in the comments below. And look out for another rant video, because I might just want to make them. Because I don't work for two days. And that'll give me more than enough time to make something about Overwatch. So, if you want to watch me play Overwatch, then I'll probably live stream that if somebody tells me to, or asks me to. Politely, not like, play Overwatch, stop beginning COD points, because it makes me so mad. If I want COD points, I can get COD points. If Phase Apex wants COD points, he can get COD points. If Pomage wants COD points, that's who it was, it was Pomage. <laughs> if Pomage wants COD points, he can get COD points. That, like, it's, it's that simple. You don't want to do it, don't do it. You cannot admit that this game isn't a masterpiece. This game is so good. There's so much time and effort put into this game. And yeah, they're adding weapons in. Most of them are balanced out. Everything has its own weakness in this game. If I'm using the Banshee, somebody could have a Vesper. Somebody could have any type of SMG. They're my weakness. Somebody could have an assault rifle. We're pretty evenly matched. Because look at the fire rate on this thing. It's bad. It's pump action. And you gotta aim it like a battlefield sniper. But look at that. My rant's still going on. So that's probably why I'll make another one today. If not today, maybe tomorrow. So, what I said before, don't forget to comment some suggestions. See, I'm doing this live. But I'll see everybody in the next one.